It's been the longest off season in off-road racing history. But finally, it's time. Time to go back racing. So much to talk about in this video. Stay with us. All the big names are here, ready to escape from the quarantine, including the king of Supercross, Jeremy McGrath. But what did everybody do during the downtime? Uh, we went out and practiced a lot, built tracks, uh, moto. That's right, the general's here. We'll hear more from him. Do you hear that? It is music to my ears, race fans. We're finally racing. It took a while. Boy, 2020 has been a strange one. But we are back at the track. Let's catch up with these racers and find out what they did during the downtime, during the quarantine. And we begin with Ricky Gutierrez. Ricky, what a strange year 2020 was. What did you do during the quarantine? Um, I mean, mostly the quarantine just, just kind of uh, was just working out. Um, we did a lot of off-season testing. You know, the crew did a really good job. Um, we had one test where on Saturday we blew up the motor and they freaking hustled it up, took the truck back to the shop, swapped out the motor, came back out Sunday and um, we tested again. But I mean, this, this whole off season was just testing, trying to get the truck right, trying to get it fast as possible. Um, we, went out, we went out to Bark River and uh, no, Elk River in Minnesota. And you know, we came home with the fourth and the third. So I am really looking forward to the weekend and um, can't wait to get out there and tear it up. Defending Pro 2 champion Jarrett Brooks looking good with a new sponsor. Jarrett, we're asking people what they did during the quarantine. You apparently found yourself a new sponsor. How'd that come to be? Yeah, dude, uh, the off season has been way too long for one. Uh, this COVID stuff is uh, put an impact on a uh, short course. We're all about fans, especially, uh, you know, no fans here this weekend. It's going to be kind of weird, but we've actually been building a brand new Pro 2. Kind of a bummer we weren't able to bring it out this weekend it's so close to being done uh so hopefully we can test it next week but yeah we got my 2019 truck here from last year uh got KN on board for uh title sponsor actually uh put, put the deal together two weeks ago expedited a suit um stickers got put on the truck today so that was pretty rad um you know pretty tight on budget this year and they they kind of came out of nowhere and you know it's uh hard hard to uh, Hard to not take uh, a good good relationship and good good sponsor. So big thanks to KN, Bill Stein, General Tire, get H get HID lights, and uh, my family, my crew. Uh, we're out we're out here racing. It feels good. Hey man, I'm happy for you. Everybody's taking notes right now because in an age where people seem to be losing funding, how in the world did you get a new sponsor? Yeah, I know, it, uh, it was pretty crazy. I, I, I got really lucky. Uh, this COVID stuff's put a big impact on everything, you know, everyone everyone knows that. And to get a sponsor to come out and race again is uh, truly grateful for that because I really didn't have a title for this year. So, um, you know, keep, keep, keeps my program going and uh, thank you guys. Mr. Ryan B, you won it all in Pro Light last year. You're stepping up to Pro 2. Boy, it's been a long off season. <laughs> Has that extra time helped you? Have you been going out of your mind? What's it been like? Oh, uh, it's obviously helped us. Any extra time, you know, prepare coming into a season where you're jumping into a new class with, you know, new competitors helps you prepare. But, um, you know, it works out. We got to put in a lot of extra time during the off season that we didn't plan on getting. So, we use it to our advantage and try to prepare as best we could. So we're just excited to get back out here and get racing, kind of get back to normal and, and get this thing going. You know, Lucas Oil Off-Road has done a great job at getting the tracks ready and bringing this thing deal, this whole deal together, you know, during such crazy times. So uh, kudos to them and we're just excited to get back out here and get Bill Stein, Vision, Gentle Tire, you know, everybody that's involved in this program, Lucas Oil, uh, back on the podium. It must be a party. The general's here. The general, man, what an off season. We're asking people, what did you do during the quarantine? 
Uh, we were just riding dirt bikes. Uh, we went out and practiced a lot, built tracks, uh, moto, and driving UTVs, the Can-Ams, uh, and just having fun, man. That was really it. We just got back to the to the roots of, of uh, driving and riding, and now we're back to racing, so I'm pumped. Haley races tonight in the ARCA NASCAR series. I practice today, and Hayden's training for Loretta's today. They're on the East Coast, so <laughs> I had to go to work. I had to come to work and have some fun. You think that extra time off may have benefited you a little bit? Yeah, hey, let's put it this way. I feel like we're one of the busiest families there is in America. We were forced to take a three-month vacation. It was good. It was good for us. We needed it. <laughs> good luck. Thanks. Brand new wrap on the truck for Mr. RJ Anderson. It's looking beautiful. RJ, you've been in motorsports a long time. How would you describe this off season? Dang, 2020, I think it's been a whirlwind for everyone, you know. Uh, but who cares what we had to go through? I'm just glad we're here. You know, it's it's round one. We're in Glen Helen, and we're ready to throw down and ready to battle and uh, make South Point proud. do during the downtime were you able to benefit your program at all yeah you know we did a lot of like tweaks to to this pro 2 that i'm driving here i uh, basically tore it all the way down to the bare chassis and then just upgraded my truck's 10 years old and uh with the way pro 2s are built it's um you know you can still be competitive which is rad so switch to the new 410 package and we're gonna see uh how this new uh 410 package shakes out up there seems like this class is getting healthier and beefier what do you think about the competition this year yeah, you know what i'm really excited we're racing this one class last year was a bit of a, a weird year Year, having two different starts, big motors, uh, 410 motors. So I'm glad this year we're all under one wing. Uh, we can race straight up. You know, I think it's going to give the, the fans and the, the viewers at home what they've uh, always looked for in the Pro 2 class. Wish you the best. Yeah, thanks, guys. you guys are staying happy healthy and safe but we are back racing ready to drop the green flag on this thing I'll tell you this track is on point too they have done a marvelous job here with the Lucas Oil off-road racing series a lot of good compliments from all the drivers Yeah, 
yeah, no big deal, guys. Only the greatest Supercross rider of all time here grooming his children. Let me say it again. Racing is back. Are you with me? Thank goodness. Beautiful KXF 450 backed by eBay Motors. We got a pro light over here. We have Mr. Dave Mason Jr. Dave, uh, I'm betting you were able to ride this motorcycle a little bit during the quarantine. Is that what you did? Yeah, absolutely. I've been riding a lot in the off time because we haven't been able to come out here and do the Lucas Oil races. So in the meantime, I've been staying sharp, uh, hitting the trails a lot in the deserts, and now it's hot during this season. So I've been riding at night a lot, but uh, anything I can do to stay sharp, uh, keep my um, physical abilities up and just you know keep going. So it's, it's been cool. I've been doing a lot of riding in the off season, a lot of practice sessions with the truck. Um, as much as we possibly can to get ready for this thing. And I got to commend you because a lot of sponsors have pulled back. You were one of the few who was able to go out and get a new one, eBay Motors. How'd that come about? Well, we, uh, we've been in negotiations with them uh, throughout the entire season last year. We weren't racing at the time, but we were building a program and we were able to wrap up a deal towards the end of the year before all this COVID hit. And um, we're very fortunate that their business is doing well. Uh, they're a really good company and with everybody being cooped up at home, people are buying a lot of stuff and um, office supplies and home improvement stuff, as well as tuning on their rigs at home. So eBay Motors specifically has just been really doing great. Um, everybody's turning to them to buy new parts for their cars, working on them themselves and that's what it's all about so it's kind of a good timing um, unfortunate with the COVID and everything that's going on um, worldwide but it's uh, it's good that you know certain members of the group are able to benefit from that and they're able to support us continuing moving on Doug, you guys are busy. You guys are swapping transmissions. Quick question for you here. What in the heck did you do during the quarantine? Oh man, worked my my ace off. <laughs> no, we've been busy. Like uh, we, we uh, this doesn't end for us when we're on our off season. We build trucks for other people. Uh, we just finished a truck for uh, Trevor Layton. We did a front end on Ryan Beats truck. We. We've done a ton of work on, on uh, a lot of the trucks that are that are out here, but uh, here we are now at the track working on my stuff. So is it possible the quarantine maybe gave you guys some extra time and let you fine fine tune some things? Yeah, for sure. Uh, I'd say uh, we needed the time. You know, nobody wanted to be sitting sitting at home instead of uh, out here racing and stuff. <laughs>
Thanks so much for watching, motorsports fans. I really hope you enjoyed the entertainment. If you like anything off-road racing, motocross, off-road trucks, best in the desert, make sure you subscribe to this channel, like, comment, share. We are here for you, and we're always looking for story ideas. If it's anything to do with fast off-road racing, we are in. Thanks so much, everybody. Really hope you enjoyed it. Please like, comment, share, and share this with anyone who loves off-road racing. <laughs>